What is up everybody? During this video, I'll be showing you the 4 best packages in Unity available that everyone should include in their project. Let's get to it. The first package that I'm going to be discussing is going to be the Text Mesh Pro, which is probably the most known one and most of you will probably know this, but I'm just covering this because it's one of the most essential packages to have in your project. And Text Mesh Pro allows you to create much more high quality texts in your game either that in your overlay of your camera or your world space cam or canvases and using the text mesh pro you can have high quality rendering text in your game with many ways to customize your text using the materials available so in case you didn't know text mesh pro is available and free for you to use and i will highly recommend you to use that instead of the legacy system that you need to use which was text the second package that I want to be discussing is the CinemaSyn package, which is a package that allows you to modify and change how your camera is working in Unity very simply without writing a single line of code. So the way CinemaSyn works allows you to customize how you want the position of the camera and the rotation of the camera to be uh, targeting a transform. For example, here I have a very simple scene that has a player which is sphere and I instructed the camera to be following and looking at the camera and you can see that on the screen I'm allowed to be dynamically moving around and the camera not just statically looking at it instead it, it follows the camera but in a more smoother way and through its components and properties you can customize this in whatever way you want there are plenty of different ways you can do that for example you want to do a third person follow camera you can do that as well you can do uh, many other ways which is available in the package. There's also different ways that you can aim at the uh, transform. There are also ways to also include, let's say, for example, additional extensions. For example, the collider, which is, I think, one of the most useful ones. For example, if I were to hide myself behind this box, the camera will try to move around and try to find an angle that doesn't block my view from this box. So, that is one of the many uses of this package and if you are uh, part of my course you have definitely seen this in both of my courses as I think this is such a useful package I've covered it in both courses. The next package that I'm going to be discussing is going to be the post processing package and if you're not sure what post processing is it's essentially a way for you to modify how your scene looks through uh, affecting the camera. So if I were to attach a post processing layer and a post processing volume onto my camera, I'm able to add effects onto my camera. For example, here is one effect which is very common, which is called the bloom, which affects how bright or not bright the scene should be. You can see that the more I increase the intensity, the more intense this uh, effect is. And there are plenty of effects available in Unity, and there are some additional uh, post processing effects if you were to be using a different pipeline. But uh, for a default pipeline, for example, you're not using a URP or, or the high rendering pipeline, you can use this package. There, the pipelines have their own post processing volumes that you can use, but uh, post processing uh, as a package has this only, I believe. I'm not sure if there are any ways you can include the additional ones, but um, these are the available ones and there are still plenty for you to use. For example, ambient inclusion is one that I use quite frequently lately and it affects how shadows or areas that are not as bright are affected. So you can see that I'm able to change the color of the darker areas in my scene. And I can, uh, for example, change the color of these areas. Instead of being black, let's say I wanted them to be a bit more green. You can see how these can change your look in your game. And you can play around with this. And if you want, I can make uh, more videos referring to each of these packages in more detail. But for now, I'll just be covering them briefly. So this is the post processing package. And the last package that I want to be discussing is going to be the Pro Builder. ProBuilder is essentially Unity's way of creating models in Unity without needing to, let's say, open up Blender and do that model uh, that you want in Blender. Instead, Unity offers a built-in future that you can create your models on your own. And for example, here I have my arc that I've created using the ProBuilder. For example, if I were to go right-click, ProBuilder, and here are some default shapes that you can create, some default models that you can create. And let's say I've created this arc, I can open ProBuilder 
and affect its vertices, edges, and faces in whatever way I want. And there are many, many properties that you can be changing, different uh, features that are available in the popular builder, which I'm not going to be uh, going over, but there are plenty of uh, tools in this package that you can use and for example i can affect how this model is shaped up as you can see i'm able to model this arc in whatever way i want which is something very useful and something that unity has been missing for many years and luckily probably is here so these are the four unity packages that i think every unity game developer should be using in their project and tell me in the comments below which one do you think is the most useful one out of these four packages make sure to subscribe for more game development related content and goodbye